While milk has been marketed as nature's perfect food for over a century, the truth is that there are many negative health consequences associated with dairy, including chronic inflammation, congestion, constipation, acne, irritable bowel syndrome, arthritis, and eczema. And of course, dairy is high in saturated fat and cholesterol. In one cup of 1% cow's milk, more than 50% of the fat is saturated, and there are 12 milligrams of cholesterol. While in almond milk, there's no saturated fat or cholesterol at all. The last thing we need is to be incorporating these high-fat, cholesterol-laden foods into our diets. Unfortunately, milk comes with several bonus ingredients that you would never intentionally toss into your shopping cart. Let's start with hormones. It takes a cocktail of naturally occurring hormones for mothers to even be able to produce milk. But on top of that, many of today's cows are injected with RBGH, a genetically modified bovine growth hormone that makes cows produce even more milk. These hormones can pass through the milk and into whoever is drinking it. Lately, we've been hearing more and more about another hormone in milk called IGF-1, or insulin-like growth factor 1. In adults, elevated levels of IGF-1 have been shown to promote the growth and spread of cancer cells. Reducing dietary intake of IGF-1 is widely considered to be an effective cancer prevention measure. Given that one in eight women will be diagnosed with breast cancer in their lifetime, this is not something to take lightly. Skipping dairy is a simple way to reduce your risk of cancer. Let that sink in. Did you know that more than 70% of all antibiotics used in the U.S. are given to farmed animals? These antibiotics can pass through the milk, leading to antibiotic resistance and the evolution of superbugs, a serious threat to human health. So just as nursing mothers need to be careful about the foods and medications they consume, we also need to be concerned about the hormones and antibiotics in cow's milk. But that's not all. Studies have shown that in every glass of milk, there's a microscopic amount of blood and pus. Wait a minute, what? Yes, pus, blood, and bacteria make their way into milk by way of an utter infection called mastitis, which is so common that the FDA legally allows up to 750 million pus cells in every liter of milk. Nature's perfect food? I think not. 